I'm so excited. I haven't filmed a makeup video in like a fat minute and I'm so excited right now. Oh my gosh. Hello! Oh, I've been doing YouTube for how long? I still don't know how to freaking intro my videos. Like every single time I start a video, it takes me like a good 10 minutes to like actually start the video because I don't know what I'm doing. Welcome back, welcome. If you've never been here before. As you can see, my face has been breaking out. As many of you guys may know, my face has not been happy the last few months, pretty much since the beginning of 2020. I recently moved in with my boyfriend and he lives in a way drier climate than I used to live in. I used to live in a very humid climate and literally right when I moved here, like one week in, I started getting like cystic acne on my face and on my back. And like, I went through everything. Like I was like, it's not the sheets, it's not the pillowcases, it's not any new products I'm using. It, I didn't change my diet. I'm trying not to let it get me down, you know? <laughs> my face got really bad like a week ago. This is actually clearing up from like a major breakout before my period. They have been so, so bad. Two days ago, I actually got a mixture of tretinoin, spironolactone, and another one. Hopefully this works. I've never tried tretinoin before or spironolactone. I could totally be saying that wrong, by the way. It's supposed to help hormonal acne. I'm actually documenting me trying this. There will probably be a video on it if it like helps my acne. If you're on social media, you see makeup videos. Most makeup videos I see are makeup videos on like perfect clear skin. And trust me, I get it. They have a ring light. They have filters. They have the blurring filter, but still, I'm not talking about just pores and texture. I'm talking about just like clear skin. It's very rare that I see someone with cystic acne or just acne in general putting makeup on and eat like getting a lot of likes. I started getting acne in seventh grade and I am now 21 years old. It's kind of gone in waves. Like when I was 18 and 19, it started to clear up. But then when I was 20, it went like, I got like really cystic acne out of nowhere again. And I was just like so fun. But I know like when you turn 20, like you can go through like new hormones and it's like a whole bunch of stuff. I have been doing makeup for a very long time now and I think I have finally perfected how to do makeup over acne to make it look as good as possible to make it not look cakey flaky and just a little disclaimer skin is supposed to look like skin even with makeup on it makeup is not supposed to make you look like you have a filter on your face I feel like I have finally mastered the best way to put makeup over acne prone skin a bunch of the items that I'm gonna show you guys are actually kind of good for acne prone skin and are fighting against the acne while I have on the makeup. Without further ado, we're gonna get in the video. I have no filters, no blurring filters or anything on this camera. I have the EOS Canon M50 and it does have a blurring filter when you take pictures but it has no blurring filter when you take videos. This is my skin, you know. I have... These have been my major breakout areas right here. Like these are all scars from a lot of stuff and then I have some like hyperpigmentation in there but and then my forehead has been insane this breakout just keeps happening over and over again um i'm gonna put in a clip really quick of what my skin looked like a few days back it's not good it's not good i've been taking pictures of my skin and you know and yes everyone's gonna be like girl that looks like you're picking at your face yes i popped the pimples because I'm not even gonna make excuses for myself, but they hurt so freaking bad. And you know when you have pimples that are so bad that like you need to pop them because if you just move your face like this, it like you are in so much physical pain. So I've actually already kind of prepped my face and I took a video of it in the bathroom, but I just got out of the shower and I have to put on my products after, I have to put on my products after I have to put on my products literally like 30 seconds after I get out of the shower or my face will completely dry up and like not take in the products. First thing I went in with was of course sunscreen. This has been the best freaking sunscreen I have used by Murad. Murad? I don't know. This is SPF 45. This has been my favorite sunscreen ever. I don't know how to say these freaking names. Kika Pear? and tiger glass serum soothes sensitive skin this stuff is so good it's like has kind of like a green tint but it's like a gel and oh my gosh it does make my redness go down a little bit which i really like and then after that i went in with my moisturizer i really like drunk elephant moisturizers the only thing with drunk elephant though is sometimes i do notice that 
it will give me milia. Like, I don't know if you can see those, like, white little bumps. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Yeah, that's the only thing with Drunk Elephant. And sometimes their stuff is a little bit too, like, heavy and thick. But I need, like, a thick moisturizer because I live in such a dry climate right now. And then I just went in with Aquaphor on my lips. The number one thing I will say that I have learned, obviously this depends on your skin type, of course. I need to be, like, a big giant grease ball before I put on makeup. I need my face to be so freaking moisturized because if it's not, I will look super super cakey. My acne spots will get all flaky throughout the day and gross and yeah. First thing I go in with is actually not makeup. A lot of the stuff I go in with is not makeup. You guys are going to realize that. It's by Sunday Riley and it's brightening and depuffing eye cream. Also, I washed my hands before this and I go in with my hands quite a bit during my makeup routine. For my girls that do their nails, before you wash your face or do anything to your face, before you apply makeup, if you do it with your hands, get one of those little scrubby brushes for nails. Wash your nails and underneath your nails because there's so much bacteria and germs and gross stuff that is like going on your face that could be the literal reason why your face is breaking out. So I always go in with a little scrubby brush and like like, wash my hands and my nails but like you can just see like how glowy that stuff is and it says it contains caffeine and it helps like depuff your eyes I honestly just like how it moisturizes my eyes I don't really know if it's depuffing them that's not the reason why I use it but it's almost out but this is the primer I go in with you know primer isn't a necessity necessity but I will say if you have more dry skin hydrating primers do benefit you you know I take like two pumps of that I'm mainly gonna go on like where I'm gonna be putting my makeup, but this pretty much goes on my whole face. I like this primer because it leaves like tacky base and it helps like the makeup and stuff like stay on. If you have redness or acne, these have been one of the coolest things. I get so mind blown by makeup products that can like change color. This is by that same brand, Kika Pear. Their products are green and I saw a TikTok about this product and pretty much you take it and you like rub it and it like turns the color of your skin the more you rub it. See? So I just kind of like pat that in. I'm doing all of this in the viewfinder. I should really be using a mirror. This is the one that I got first, but the key with this product is you have to do this with it with your hands because if not, it's literally gonna like be green on your face. But yeah, it kind of calms down the redness and it gives like, it's kind of like a skin tint, but like it's not. They also had the same exact thing in drop forms and I'm gonna be honest, I like the drops more. I just like, I'm trying to use both. I bought that first and I didn't even know that they had drops. Also, I'm not touching the dropper to my face. Don't freak out. So yeah, their whole entire thing is that they neutralize redness. This one has SPF 30 and this one has SPF 35. See, like, that neutralized that, like, redness so freaking much. That stuff is so amazing and it doesn't even look like I have makeup on and it doesn't even feel like I have makeup on. Yeah, I would definitely suggest the drops more. Like, obviously you can still see I have acne. This makes me more comfortable to go out. I don't know if you guys are like me, but like whenever my face is breaking out, if I'm going out, I'm just like, okay, let me just put concealer on my pimples really quick because I get so insecure about it. And I hate that, but... And then sometimes I'll take like a beauty blender and just kind of go over everything. Beauty blender is my best friend. And I wash this thing, I think every single time I use it because I don't want it to break out my skin even more. Now we're going to be going into skin tints. I recently have been using the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer and I love Glossier skin tint and the reason I'm going to be going in with these isn't really to cover the acne but to give the skin like a very healthy glow from within. Also I feel like it just gives like a good base for the concealer and powder to hold on to that we're going to do. But you guys are going to notice I do more go in with cream products just personally because I feel like like it's just better for my skin whenever I use powdery products it tends to just like give me blackheads and you can see my texture so much more if you have texture I would definitely suggest using more liquid products I'm gonna just put this on as you can see this is a little bit more tan and the other one's a little bit more like peachy and I barely go in with any of that stuff and then I'm gonna blend it out with the like butt of my beauty blender And, like you can just see like it 
I definitely like glowy skin. I definitely gravitate more towards like natural glowy than like shimmery like highlighters. I'm just not a fan of like the sparkly stuff because the sparkly stuff just enhances the texture that I have. I love making makeup videos. This is like so therapeutic. I'm going to go in with my bronzer and I use the Tom Ford one. I hate that I like this stuff because I bought this when I recreated Madison Beer's Vogue makeup routine and I didn't want to like this because this is like $90 but sadly it's like my favorite product and even if I'm not wearing makeup I'll put a little bit on and I'm so sorry that I'm including in this video but it's like one of the best bronzers I've ever freaking used in my life okay like where the Sun would naturally hit it on like the top of the cheekbone I don't really go for like the hollowed out look I just kind of go for like oh my god I'm naturally sun-kissed and go outside you know also, I do this before concealer and before we're gonna cover up all of our acne because a lot of times I'll notice if I do it after, it'll lift up where I put the concealer and stuff. I feel like I need to talk about something when I do my makeup. I know a lot of you guys have like no idea what's going on in my life, but I keep saying that I'm gonna explain it in a video, but it's taking so freaking long. But pretty much me and my boyfriend are moving out and I'm currently living at his house, at his parents' house. And I moved in with him mainly because it was hard to film in my house just because there's so many people living there and I didn't wanna be an inconvenience to anyone's life. You know, like just living life because I have to film all the time. I need to be more quiet. It's easier for Tyler and I, Tyler's my boyfriend if you don't know. It's easier for Tyler and I to figure out the apartment situation that we're gonna move into when we're together and not two hours away because we lived two hours away from each other. So I've been living here since January and it is now May and we've been looking for apartments. Apartments are really freaking hard to find right now. It's really, really hard to get an apartment when you're young also and have never rented before. And it's really hard when you're, um, a YouTuber and, or like an influencer content creator because YouTubers and content creators have like a stigma where they're annoying and nobody ever wants to rent to them. So it's been difficult. We recently went on an apartment tour. This is our first apartment tour we have ever gone on. And we find out on the way there that it's a contactless tour. We had no idea. So me and Tyler got like dressed all nice. I like did my makeup, my hair, and my nails just to like kind of make myself look like more adultish if that makes sense I don't know we scan like a little code thing and person is texting us where to go so he's telling us what, what units to go to and all this stuff right and during this time span of us standing at like the front of the place I overhear these two people asking this lady who lived there if she had any toilet paper and that's all I heard I didn't really think anything of it it you know I just like heard it we got our unit and we're walking up and these two people are standing right in front of the unit door that we were going to go and see. So me and Tyler are just like, oh, okay, what do we do? Like, do we go in there? Or do we just stand here? And we're just kind of standing like, around it like awkwardly and the guy comes up to us and he was like oh are you guys seeing this unit we're like yeah and then he's like oh yeah my friend in there took like a sh and it, he smelled up the whole entire apartment i'm sorry and me and tyler were just like we weren't rude we were just like yeah it's okay like we get it but in my head i'm just like really the one unit there's a lot of units at this point i'm like the one freaking unit that we are supposed to tour i'm just like why we go in there and the guy made it sound like his friend had already left and they left and so we go in there and tyler and i are walking around and it's a little stinky but not that bad yet because we are in the living room in the kitchen not near the bathroom me and tyler are looking at everything we're like wow this is really nice and then all of a sudden we hear like and me and Tyler are just like, the guy was still in the freaking bathroom. And me and Tyler were just like, like, what do we do? Like, are we supposed to be in here when someone else is in here? Like, he's been in there for a while. Like, we were in there for 10 minutes and we had no idea that he was in there. So Tyler's like, do we just make like a run for it? Like, do we just like run out the door and pretend like we weren't in there and wait for him to leave? Like, what do we do? And we hear like the shower. And me and Tyler are just like, what the hell is going on? Like, is someone taking a shower here? Like, what is going on? We hear the toilet flush like 20 freaking times. Like another 10 minutes goes by and this guy comes out. And it's like an old man, like with all white hair and he comes out and he's holding this like wad of toilet paper, like three rolls worth of wet toilet paper in his hand. And he just straight up walks to us and he's like, hey guys, I'm sorry. Like, I had diarrhea. 
we were just like, no, no, like we get it, it's fine. And then he walks out and me and Tyler look at each other and we were like, did you just see that? Did you see that? Yeah, the toilet paper that he was holding that was soaking wet had shit all over it. <laughs> so, yeah. I am like starting to freak out because it smells so bad. So literally everything else for us to see in the apartment, all the bedrooms, all the bathrooms, all the closets, everything is past this freaking bathroom that smells like ass. So I'm just like dying. If you guys don't know, I have a metaphobia, which is the fear of throw up. And I'm like almost gagging. I have a very sensitive like nose. I'm very sensitive to smell. I don't like strong smells at all because it's a major trigger to like make me gag. So I'm like almost on the verge of having a panic attack. And I'm just like, this would, this would happen. This would happen. So yeah, anyways, we like the apartment and we're waiting for the application and you guys will obviously hear what happens. But yeah, that, that happened the other day. Uh-huh. That was... A very fun experience and I thought that you guys would enjoy hearing about it it's one of those situations where it's just like yeah that would happen to me you know like that would be my luck okay moving on with the makeup tutorial um, I'm gonna take setting spray this is the one by Charlotte Tilbury literally anyone will work and I'm gonna spray it on my beauty blender and kind of tap it off so it's not soaking wet go over everything we have done and I will do this multiple times throughout doing my makeup because I feel like it just helps set everything while you're going I don't know it like helps melt everything together this is also just like my kind of everyday makeup <coughs> I'm gonna take the Rare Beauty blush, and I don't know if you guys have seen videos on this stuff. You need literally like a atom of this. Like that's gonna cover my whole cheek. I like to kind of do it with my fingers at first. Just gives you a little flush. I'm not in a mood where I want a lot of blush right now. Rare Beauty is such a good brand. I recently got the concealer, but it is one that'll be good for like brightening under my eyes and like under here if I want it for that. So I'm not gonna return it because I'll still use it. I forgot to put in my freaking earring. It fell out in the shower and I forgot to put it back in. Oops. Now we are going to get into how I like cover up the acne. My favorite one to do this with is the Laura Mercier one. I'll take some on the back of my hand. This is literally the best skin match concealer I have ever gotten. I got this brush from It Cosmetics. This is the best concealer brush I have ever gotten in my life. And I take some of the concealer and I'll zoom you guys in so you can like really see what I'm doing. But I'm going to like you guys can already see like my skin looks so much better already. But I'm gonna go on where the pimples are and kind of just like paint over them. And I like to do this with like a flatter brush because it doesn't like glob the product on there. And I just feel like it covers them better. I'll literally let that sit for like a good 15 seconds. You know maybe do this a little bit just to make sure because i kind of wanted to dry down and this concealer gives you that option it doesn't this isn't the type of concealer where it like dries down and you can't move it but i want to dry down a little bit because then it makes it like more full coverage using this side of the brush i'm going to lightly blend like in a little like a mini circle but you don't really want to touch on the actual pimple you want to like lightly blend it and then blend out around it we're gonna do it with this pimple right here. I lightly go on it like this just to make it a little bit more seamless and then I will go around it and blend out the edges of the concealer so then like you're not really taking the product off of the actual pimple. I'm going to do that on everything on my face. I hope you guys get what I mean but just the main thing is not to touch the product a whole lot on the actual pimple and to blend it out around it. This is where we're at. I feel like this looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of concealer under my eyes. I'll only put it like right here. But my eyes have been way darker recently because I have not been sleeping because of my medication. So that's super fun. But I'll mainly put it there and on 
the corners of my eyes because it gets really really dark right there sometimes and i do blend this out with a beauty blender but first i am going to spray it with some setting spray tap the excess off and my eyes crease really bad no matter what concealer it is literally does not matter so i don't put it directly under my lash line and honestly i like how it looks better because it kind of looks like i put like an eyeshadow on my eye because i have like this like purplish red band under my eye and i don't know i feel like it kind of looks good so okay now we're gonna go in with powder and i powder in a really specific way that i feel like makes the skin look more flawless i don't know um this is the laura mercier powder i'm going to take a little like eyeshadow brush and like take some of the powder on there and this is what i go in with under my eyes the main thing is i don't want to get the powder everywhere because I still want to look glowy, but I do take it down into this area to blur out my pores a little bit around my nose, but not too crazy because it gets dry in there. I just feel like that makes it look so much softer. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little brush and I'm gonna go over my pimples. I have done this since high school and I literally will bake my pimples. I don't know why, but I feel like this works so freaking good. I feel like the only thing you'd have to be careful of is if you're gonna be like taking flash pictures, but I don't really plan on taking flash pictures every day of my life, so. And I will take a little bit of powder and put it here just because this part, you know, the T-zone gets oily. But I like to do it with this little brush because then it's not like too crazy because, I don't know, sometimes I like it like <laughs> when my natural oils come out and mix with my makeup a little bit. I can't be the only one. I'll let that powder like sit on those pimples because I'm just like kind of baking them. I feel like it makes them look better. This is the point in time where I do the rest of my makeup. I'm going to put some lip plumper on. This is like the best lip plumper ever. I got it from Amazon and I saw a TikTok about it and it's amazing. It's just like this little one. I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I don't really do that much to my eyebrows. Sometimes I'll fill them in, sometimes I'll put some clear gel, but I am gonna fill them in a little bit. Four hour brow setter by benefit this stuff is not overhyped this is the best brow gel i have ever used in my life and actually keeps my eyebrows where i want them all right so brows are done all right so now i'll kind of just like wipe them off my skin sometimes like absorbs all the powder that i use for these things oh my gosh this is such a good makeup day i love when i have good makeup days especially when i'm filming a video you know so from the same bronzer they have this and it's like a little illuminator and i'll take a little bit on my right here because it's more of a sheen and just makes it look like more glowy a little bit on my nose and i also will put a little bit like under my brow bone right here i wanted to style my natural wavy hair today but it's kind of like doing weird things and i'm probably gonna end up doing a blowout okay anyways i'm gonna curl my eyelashes i always comb up my eyelashes before i curl them like look at the difference beautiful a lot of times what i do when i have really bad acne and i kind of want it to distract away from my acne is i will go in with some fake freckles and i just take an eyebrow brush and I always go on my nose right here because I do have some natural freckles right there, but the girl has not been in the sun like at all. Just a little bit and then like I'll tap it in. Okay, so as you can see, the lip plumper has worked. I'm going in with lip liner and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. And I just go like above my cupid's bow right here and line like the bottom just to make my lips a little bit more defined. And then I'll take my Benetton. Just to make my lips not as pale because my lips can be so pale and then literally any lip gloss i had this done in a tiktok and people were like did you get lip fillers and i was like 
No, I just learned how to do lip liner. I think this is the final look. And as you can tell, like if you straight up look at me, you wouldn't know that my face was breaking out, so. And it's still not like a crazy makeup look, like it's still a natural makeup look. I think that is the end of this makeup tutorial. This is usually where I stop, but I do want to say I know a majority of the people that clicked on this video probably clicked on it because of my title and my thumbnail. And I just want you to know if you are struggling with confidence, if you are struggling with acne, just please, for me, remember that your acne does not define you. Literally everyone has had a pimple in their lifetime. I know there are those lucky people that just naturally have clear skin, but I'm telling you, there's probably a bigger majority of people who are suffering from acne. I know it's very easy to fall into a slump and not want to go out when your acne is bad, but at the end of the day, everyone is more worried about themselves and I don't think people are looking at you and looking at your acne. And if they are, and if they're commenting about it and being assholes, then screw them and we don't care what they think. Because why would we care what they think? Literally, like, why care? I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped. I'm telling you guys, when I move, that is when there will be a bunch of videos. It is extremely hard to film right now. Me and my boyfriend are sharing a small ass room. This is the only like decent place to film. And I have the bathroom and it's horrible lighting and bear with me. I'm so, I'm so excited. I just wanna say thank you so much because this wouldn't be happening without you guys. So I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Uh. I don't know if you like the way I put my words together But I need you to stick with me just like some birds of feathers Or like bricks to scales, hand to hand Dropping corn straight down the well Wish me well, wish me well, Hey, Always talking about the fishing scales Things that's gon' throw my mind off focus Probably what's gon' get my drug use more dosage Like I damn baby girl, I damn